Hi everyone, I'm Glenn Flaherty from Board Games and Bourbon, and right now we are going to talk about the Space Adventure game, and this is by Lupo, and it's a really cool uh, international effort here. Um, ended up here in Washington, D.C., although it was designed in Finland, made in Belgium, and copyright in Helsinki, which is also Finland, but isn't that cool? So what do you do in this game? This game is a storytelling game. It's a storytelling game with a strong collaborative team building effort where you and other explorers are uh, designing a ship. You have personalities, you have roles, you have missions for your roles, you're designing your ship, you're taking off to a planet. When you get to this planet, you're going to uh, discover species there. You're going to build cities, you're going to have impacts. Uh, and the whole point of the game is to build this lavish tale that you're working together about, trying to make it as zany as possible. And that's kind of like, you know, the, the most zany ideas win. And you enjoy the process of coming up with it. Okay, now what does it look like and what is it good for? Okay, so the first thing you're going to get in here are roll cards. Okay, roll cards. Now the cards are pretty cool because, you know, you're going to have like the chief of knot. One for all, one, uh, and then it's on the floor. Bionaut, uh, from one seed you can feed a village. And so as you're going through this, you're getting, you know, the Diplonaut. You're getting all these different characters. The Stylonaut, ooh. And you kind of come up with names and you kind of flesh out your character almost like an RPG. And the, you know, and then there's repetitions. But the art on here is so cool. One for all, all for one. Well, isn't that what I meant to say the first time? But uh, the, the art kind of has like this um, quality to it that yearns to have a certain type of story told. So there's a whole bunch of cards, right? So people endlessly can play this, okay? Uh, you can have a ton of people in the room. Now, once you have that, you're gonna get your uh, ad, uh, roll mission cards, right? And the roll missions actually have quite a bit more information on it. So for example, here it says the Diplonaut. Create a social space for your citizens. So this is part of your goal. You're gonna create this social space for your citizens. You're gonna research. What are the needs of the new species? What activities make your citizens happy? So these cards are helping you along, you know, so even if you're a new storyteller, it, it's prompting you, it's giving you guidance. It's not spelling it all out for you, but, but it's helping you along. Design. How do you ensure a social space will bring them together? How will the new species influence your designs? So it gives you all these questions to help build this world you're talking about. Help. How can you help your crew members to understand and consider the needs of the new species? And now for every single character there is, there's one for diplonauts, chefonauts, protectonauts, bionauts, stylonauts, and it goes on and on. Now you did that. You have your ship, you have your character, what you're trying to do, you're going to your worlds. In the worlds, there's salty worlds. So you can also see too, that this would be really good for kids. You know, I can see this. In, and in fact, the, the box somewhere on here actually says like, it's institu educational grade. And I can totally see it being as a coming out of your shell experience for younger kids, a working together effort for team building with kids. Uh, maybe you could even use it if you're just trying to introduce new people at a, a work get together. You got Swamp World. I love this art. Uh, Mountain World. This all looks like it's out of Candyland. Underground World. Yeah, just go in. Apparently it has teeth too. That's pretty sweet. Winter World. And it goes on and on like that. You're heading to the world and then you're going to run into your species. So you're going to have the self-centered unicorn centaurs. Uh, this is who you run into, to the shy giants. And it goes on, right? The invisible elephants. And then you're running this, okay, well, what are the impacts on these people? On top of that, you have these style cards, which basically are saying um, uh, what qualities they bring to it. So you might have a shy giant or a, or an invisible uh, elephant, but then, you know, magical. Work this into the cute, you know, spooky, all these cards. Then you're gonna wrap it up here. You're gonna have crew impacts, okay? Like you're gonna have this here, writing home. Your crew is homesick. Write your family or friends and tell them that you love them and tell them about your most important mission. So this is kind of like developing like the epilogue. Like what was the experience in whole as you went through? The long lasting impact on your world. Bored is an example. 
guest incoming. You know, board says, boredom is spreading among your citizens. Make sure to provide them with some entertainment, like a theme park or something even more unique. So you're like, oh man, we should totally build this and blah, blah, blah. Obesity is rampant. Uh-oh, I'm a little too close. Uh, the citizen of your town are gaining more and more weight as they sit down and play endless board games. Invent a spot in which all species can play and have fun. Now, it doesn't say board games, I put that in. But, um, you know, stuff like this. And so it's a quick little jaunt. It's a cool little game. It looks good. It guides you along. The art is fantastic. So this is going to be a game for people who are new to story, story building. Um, people where you're trying to get, maybe people don't know each other to work together. Definitely for young people. The art leans or that it's, it's colorful, it's festive, it's like Candyland. Okay, so anyway, that's a, that's a little thing. I'll put a link here if I can for you. And that game is called Space Adventure. See if that's for you, okay? Talk to you later, guys. Bye.